Hello and welcome to the BBW half of the show. So, yeah. Looking forward to this one as much as I'm looking forward to the first half. And the first half was banging, so. Anyway, yep, we're starting with this. Uh, again, a couple of debuts on this part. Garrett Starr, in his debut, against David Stalls, who's debuting for PBW, because he was an AVW before, so... I'm hoping this is going to be a good match, because they have vastly different styles, no pun intended. Making his way to the ring from North Carolina, weighing in at 230 pounds, Garrett Stan. Here comes Garrett Starr, the American hero. I'm actually a huge fan of him because he's from like the premiere um, Discord. Slash fed. I've always wanted him. So here he is. Uh, not to promote NG X, but. Uh, <laughs> I, I. If you've heard of NG X and hear him cut promos about it, you have to say it that way, otherwise, you're not saying it right. NG X and his opponent. From Rochester, New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, David Styles. Here comes David F Styles. Let's not forget former AVW Chaos Champion, so he's held a belt before. I live for a pretty good chunk of time too. Obviously a lot more used to hardcore setting, we don't really do that on PBW, so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Here we go. Shane Wrestling. I expected that from Garrett, but certainly not from David. For sake down there. Good catch from Garrett, though. Suplex right into the pen. I think David's foot was under the rope. Because remember, we have rope break in PBW. Which might piss some people off, but I think it adds to the tension, personally. Big bulldog from David. Good neck crank there. Good counter to the clothesline. Trade and strikes back and forth. Both landing quite heavy too. And ooh, good drop there. Trying to smash his head in over and over. Yeah. 
And good rotation, elbow drop right to the chest. Good shot to the back here. David using his more brawly style to counter all of the tactical stuff. Although, as I say that, he goes for that nice little side headlock. Mostly looking just to wear down Garrett, which has been working so far. A clothesline from Garrett Star. Oh, big power bomb! The way he fell on that was so smooth as well, added a lot of weight to it. Fake out elbow? That looks a bit weird. That breaker from David. Oh, look for the straight jacket, brain buster. Got all of that into the pen. One, two. Now the punch is right to the face place. The face place, there we go. Style stunner. That might be enough. One, two, Garrett kicks out. Oh, the Death Valley driver there. From Garrett Star. Starting to feel it right now. And a, and a good punch. And right to that bulldog too. Oh! Hell of a move that one, two. That was a great modification on Neckbreaker. David is the corner. Oh, United States of Smash! Two. Kicked out though. Staying on David though, which is very important. That's a good catch from David too. And David looking for his <laughs> comeback counter, which I just remembered they are the exact same. That's a good little story thread. Now looking again for the stretch of Brain Buster. Busts Garrett open. One, two, three. I was not expecting the elbow to hide it, but goddamn. Even after the United States is smash as well. This is a vicious looking elbow. Still good showing from him in his debut.
Here is your winner, David Styles. David Styles, the former ABW Cares champion. It's a big victory. It's over an upset, if you will, over a debuting star. <laughs> debuting star. Anyway. Next up, Frank V. Anderson FEA versus Hermana De Leon, who's making his first PBW appearance. After a pretty decent career in AVW, the best memory of which was his elimination from the Over the Top Rumble. I mean, this is going to be a showcase of amazing striking, though. I get that feeling from it. There's just going to be so much kicks. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 227 pounds, the tank, Frank Victoria Anderson. Here comes Frank Victoria Anderson, FBA, FBA. Didn't have the best run in AVW, former international champion on PBW. Maybe looking to carve a path back to some gold. I mean, he's a true veteran. He's done a lot of work. He's been around a long time. And I'm always still excited to see him. He's so fun to watch. Speaking of fun to watch. And his opponent from Valencia, Spain, weighing in at 222 pounds, the superstar. Here we have the Spanish dance god, Emmanuel de Leon. But let's not forget, once challenged for the AVW Heavyweight Championship. Still weird to think that he did. But still, as always, ridiculously talented. Hell of a striker. Charismatic. Loves to have fun. So I imagine we're going to get a very fun match out of these two. They both have really good kicks, but I think Hermano will be more likely to go for them. FBA got really good hands too, really good elbows. We go. Good start for FBA. One of his best go to moves. Good trip there. Good suplex. And there is a 20 count to play on the outside. Oh, the snap man right into the knee. Good chops and elbows on the mano. Good 
Good dropkick from Amano. Pull that reverse STO. And looking for a Dragon Sleeper. There's a good modification on it, but FEA managed to roll out. Good canter with the elbow. Good evasion from Mono. And that crossbody again. There all day for FEA. Double gut buster there. And the drop kick to the back of the head. Damn, I might not showing off some vicious kicks. around from Emano. I always said HDL because I'll be one to say that old match. Go for a Dragon Sleeper again. The head sort of slipped out though and FEA managed to get out of it. Oh big bicycle boot. We can't tell though. The clothesline from Mano. I predicted this would be a striking clinic, I wasn't wrong, god damn. He's too tearing up on that front. Oh, looking for the De Leon tamer. Although FEA instantly gets out. Oh, dragon suplex. Now looking for the groove with the music. And lands it flush. One, two, three. Wow. That was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Still no shame in that. Hermano is really good. And he beat a legend. Mano de Leon. Felt the groove of the music, it only took one. And he got a big win over FEA, who, let's not forget, also goddamn good at the striking and the kicks. Honestly, I wanted that match to be a bit longer because it was good while it lasted. Still, Imano dancing in celebration, as he should. Because that was a good one. But! Goddamn, I'm looking forward to this. Culture Inc. versus The Highwayman, two debuting tag teams. And because I'm trying to set up number one contender stuff here. Yeah, the winner of this match will face. Um, who was it who won last week? Pretty perfect. Next week.
the way to the ring at a combined weight of 408 pounds, Eli Knight and Malenko, the circle. Here comes Culture Rink. Eli Knight, Malik Macedo. One of the highest prospect tag teams on Genesis and they better win the tag titles at some point. I just love these two, honestly. I don't watch much Genesis these days, but like, every time they're on screen I can't take my eyes away. Here come the highwaymen, Pistolero and Harris. Harris has been on PBW basically since I first hired him, in quotation marks. Pistolero was on APW for a bit. Didn't really get much done over there. But here he is, with Harris partnered up to take on Culture Ring. So two, two new tag teams. One making their official debut in culturing because this is the first match I've ever had for my company. And Harris starting strong with his power. Big face buster there. Evasion there. Right in the corner. Good knee from Harris. And that face wash as well. A bit cruel. Oh my goodness. Hilo shaking his finger at that. Trying to maybe take Harris to his, to his corner. Doesn't get there. Good counter from Harris though. Good counter from Eli as well. And again, I think Eli's trying to go for power moves, but Harris is way too big. Oh! I <laughs> say that and he goes for that big throwback, okay. Don't break to the back. And the highwayman looking for... Oh my Christ! It's a bit of a doomsday there. Snap suplex. One. He like kicked out. Manages to get the tag into to Malik. Gets that big boot right to Pistolero's face. Lay it into that jackhammer. Malik sort of missed that clothesline. Good arm drag there from Pisto. Although the bicycle kick again. Good drop to the leg. Enter from Pisto, he had a bit of time to recover there. Big belly to belly. And Malik 
lifting pistol up for a big power bomb. And the second one, going for a third, gets all three. In the corner wing for something. Big neck breaker. One. Just a one? Such a big move, too. Oh, I think they're looking to end it early, though. The culture clash. Harris breaks it up. Good. Good of Elo to save Mar uh, Malik there. Uh, almost said Marcus. Paris and Marcus still fighting in the ring. The ref has to start counting those two out. I actually said Marcus didn't I? Malik ate the count uh, ate the canvas there. More than late suplex. Pulled up. Bye! Big suplex, that's one of Pistolero's biggest moves. One. I only got one count after that. Oh my god, massive cut of that. Melee Knight. And he's calling Pistol Arrow to his feet. Harris is not interfering. Oh! My god! He was caught with the cruiserweight killer. Oh! Malik hit the ref! I don't think he meant to. Backslide driver there from Eli Knight. to the corner. Good evasion from Eloy. Good trip. And... Oh! Sort of had a sharpshooter, but Pistol Arrow is way too close to the ropes. And he's... Oh! I wonder if he'll get caught again. Not that time. Big drop kick. And now Culture Inc. looking for another Culture Clash. But Harris immediately on the way there to break it up. Although Malik knocked him to the outside. Harris hasn't been getting involved a lot though, which sort of concerns me. Which makes him the freshest man in this match. Because Gold Shrink have had frequent tags. Bissler has been in there a long time now on his own. Good Larry to counter. And he must have heard me apparently. Because he's tagging in Harris now. Oh, Malik. Right into that clothesline though. Good shoulder tackle. And, oh, the cow clutch stomp, the arm stretch stomp. Good job of Harris going off the ring there as well, not allowing Malik to reach Eli. Oh, just boots Malik. 
right to the outside. Blake still sharing some fire, but Paris baiting the pulp out of him. Good rush on legs, wave. Kick right to the stomach. Oh, the DDT! It's Malik's main go-to finisher, but... I think Harris was too close to the rope. I hope he didn't kick out immediately after that, because that would annoy me a little bit. But again, Harris has not been in there as long as everyone else, so... And Harris again using his sheer size to counter that. Oh, looking for the horror bomb. And Malik, see how out he is, his foot was hung up on the rope, he didn't even bother to bring it down. The highwayman looking for the road to ruin. And Malik is busted open. Eli breaks up the pin. Good hook and Rana. Is that going to cause Eli to roll out? No, I think he was stuck in the leak and he didn't roll. Well, he didn't roll enough. The knee and the shot to the back of the head, too. Malik almost reached. Eli, oh, does that time. Be a close line. Oh, good cutter there. Malik showing incredible strength. Big super kick. And looking for that Samoan driver. Pin. One. Two. No! What? I don't know if... Oh! Vicious ball driver. I don't know if Pistol Arrow broke it up or if Harris kicked out. That is very difficult to tell. Harrison a series of strokes to Malik though. And the knee, only making that cut a bit wider. Can I go for that pole driver again? Gotch style! One, two, three, god damn it. What a match that was, though. That was really good back and forth between the teams. I don't know what it is, but like tag teams have been stepping up their game lately. I'm happy with that. Pistler and Harris as the highwayman though. Get a big win.
Next up, Olivium Stroll versus Ruby, 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 Skylar. This will probably also be a good match. Making her way to the ring from Bogota, Colombia, Sunshine Olivia Mitchell. Olivia Mistral on her way to the ring. Fresh off an incredible match against uh, Taylor Jones at Fire the Gods 3, which should have been 30 minutes, but for some reason the game docks to half that time. However, Olivia looking to climb a little bit more up the ranks, as it were, especially on the way to uh, break even. Ruby Skyla, Ruby Skyla. Let's not forget former PBW Women's Champion. She had a fair bit of success in all violence wrestling, but she is back where she started on PBW. Again, uber talented, very likable. And uh, yeah, this should just be, again, a fun time. Good technical start there from these two. Winners just yet. Good wrench on the arm. I expect a technical masterclass from these two, and uh, we're getting it so far in this early going. Good clean break. You'll love to see it. All over the clothesline. We see a lot of face washes tonight against, uh, like, against the bottom of the corner. Good. Russian leg sweep there from Ruby. Seems they've got a bit of control now in this match. Good spinning elbow. I think Ruby was sent right to the LED there. Good shim breaker to the dragon screw. And oh, German suplex quick as lightning there from Olivia. Back in they both go.
The drop kick from Ruby. Keeping Olivia Grant with some mean shots. Those kicks are really good. As they always are from Ruby, she's one of the best kickers in the game. Good elbow from Olivia. Good float over into that, into the arm drag. Just a one there. Ooh, went for something unique, but didn't get it. Good counter from Ruby there with a clothesline. And... Good arm drag sort of thing there. Oh, the running knee there. And the knee drop. Good catch from Olivia. Might be thinking of the shuttle sickness. No, not quite. Stun gun. One, just one. Trying to start the chain wrestling again, but Ruby breaks out. And now we're going for the short sickness. There we go. Spinning around and around, and there it is. Not even a. Not even two count. Good neck breaker there. Now climbing to the top. Might be thinking of a zero gravity. One, two. Three, Olivia gets the win. Pretty entertaining back and forth though. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite match of the night, but I like it. Mistral, not Mitchell. Mistral. I wish I could. I wish I could change that in the game a bit more. Like have them include a lot more names to say. Still Olivia. In her first match of season four, gets a win. Good. Good shit. Next up, the women's tag action. We got the king's women, and I have renamed them as such. against the Grey Hats.
on the way to the Kelly Kaplan and Cassidy Clark, the Knights of the Round Table. And here come the King's women. Kelly Kaplan and Cassidy Clark. A lot of C's. A couple of K's. It was always an extremely entertaining tag team, and obviously the people who made them I'm really good friends with, but... They never really fully get that big win that they need. And their opponents, Evelyn General and Yuri Yor, the Grinders. And here come the Grey Hats who have actually had a pretty good record. I mean, they even challenged for the women's tag titles to come um, to fight the gods, but they were squashed by Harley Queen, because of course they were. Still, they're more than most locally uh, looking to, again, be a big upset. I never know how this is going to go. I'm always excited. The cross party from Cali to start. And, oh, interesting start there. Also, yeah, Grey Hat's got the first tag. Here we York, a bulldog. Oh, that was a good move there. And both on the outside. I think. I thought Kelly made full contact with the stairs. Her face did make contact with the apron just then, though. Two trading back and forth, and either one really getting an advantage. Good shot. Back in the ring they go. That's a hell of a strike combo, too, from Kelly. into the Grey Hats corner. Kelly did almost get that tag. Good counter. There she'll try to look for it. Oh, there we go. Drops on hold. Elbow dropped at the back. Good tag team maneuver. And spring and Seguri. Good counter from Yuri though. Good kick right to the chest. And the double super kick, one of the biggest moves. Big knees to the back. Been dodging on point. Oh, guess Fujiwara Armbar. Yuri needs to crawl to her right there, but no, nope, didn't really need to. She managed to survive. And I think they're looking to end it early, looking for ones and zeros.
One, two. Cassidy kicked out of a tag finisher because life is pain. Oh, the spinning back fist, my god. Kelly looking for a giant swing. And the Kaplan mutilation. I think Evie's, Eva's foot slipped under the rope. Kelly looking for the end. For the neon sunset. I think the ref's busy with Yuri though, trying to ward her off from Gang and Bolt. One, two. That might have given Eva enough time to kick out. Big spine buster. Cassie tried to get involved there. Tried to pick Eva up, but Eva with a big power bomb. In comes Cassidy. Big drop kick. The counts are there. Oh, Yuri York getting fully involved there too. Now the rolling knee path can't panic. I think Cassie escaped though. To the corner, but notices Kelly's not there. Double sham buster. Once again, looking for ones and zeros. One, two. Cassidy kicked out again. Cassidy, what are you made of, you mad woman? Third time. Is that going to be it? Yep, ones and zeros. One, two, and Cassidy kicked out anyway. The Kaplan missed breaking up the pin, and Cassidy still kicked out. Big face buster there from Eva. And now the widow maker. Cassidy unable to stop Yuri from getting involved. Bit of a miscommunication there. Back suplex. Now we're modified Kaplan mutilation. I think that's what it is. Even rolls out. Breath, sort of warning Casty off. Oh, what a maneuver there! 
What a manoeuvre. One, two. Oh, I think you're just about broken up. Oh, big back suplex though. Yuri's out of commission once again. That was a good move there. Good evasion from Kelly. Good stun gun. for a stampede. And a drop kick to end out. Good comeback. Oh, the blessing in disguise? No, that's not right. Again, that move has an aim, I just don't remember what it is. Devil's Lullaby, that's what it's called. Cassie and Eva engage in a slugfest on the outside. Five. Eva was sent right into that barricade. Oh, right to the steps too. Eight. At the count of eight, almost halfway there. Nine. The count of ten, they're both back in the ring. Even not able to call to Yuri. Here comes Kelly. Good counter. Good elbow. Saunting. Which is the point of a taunt. <laughs> Oh, went for that Carl Park, I think. Good counter from Cali. He's doing the rank back and forth. There it is. There's a Carl Panic. Cali managed to get out somehow. Favoring that leg, though. And we might see the end of this. The Widowmaker. One, two, three. The King's Women get the victory.
That match was just insanely good. Here are your winners, Kelly Kaplan and Cassidy Clark, the Knights of the Round Table. And they get a big victory and they'll be fighting Hard Knocks next week. But this is your main event, Sergeant Hunter vs. Hero Ramirez. This might have world title implications as well, because these are two former world champions. A hero is just back from ABW. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 280 pounds, Sergeant Hunter. And here comes the big Sorge, Sergeant Hunter, former world champion. One of the few survivors, one of the few winners of the Harsh Environment Chamber. It's one of the second one to win that title back in year two. Has been on TV as much lately. Looking to rectify that, looking for some wins. Who knows if we'll get him? And here comes Hiro Ramirez, former PBW World Champion, the only man to have won the War of Attrition, and the Over the Top Rumble. So yeah, suffice to say, I'm kind of looking forward to this. And Hero Ramirez is a long-time favorite of mine, so easy to like. Yay, yeah, Sneakers, welcome. You've just in time for the main event. This is the last match of the night, mate. Also, yes, in case you're wondering, the Culture Inc. versus Highwayman match was as good as I was hoping it would be. Anyway, here we go, Hero Ramirez, Sergeant Hunter. Sergeant with a good takedown there. The 
good bulldog there, Sarge. Sarge definitely using his power a lot more than Hero. He's able to use his speed a little as soon as I say that. Good Hurricane Rana. Good Leapfrog. Looks under. Oh! Good thrust kick. the same thing again. Ooh, tornado DDT. Rather a tiltable DDT. He's got to use his speed a lot more to overcome Soldier's power. Eric Rana again. Hero doing all the flippy weepy peepees. Taking it outside. Back and forth, Hero got the better of that as they go back in. And basement head scissors. One of his best moves. Oh, looking. But well, the hero's landing right at the gate after that. And gets it into the bin. One, two. Th oh, I thought that was it. Flip over there. Ooh, standing shooting star. Hero staying on top using his speed. Oh, I think that was a barrage. It was. Almost took Hero's head off. Fire for effect. One, two, here I kicked out. Big close line. Second one. Third. Sarge using a power to its best advantage. That's that is his advantage. He's also got a sharp mind. Much sharper mind than I think anyone expects him to have. Spears hero to the outside. Just beating the crap out of him too. Punch after punch. And that one knocks him down. That took a lot to knock Hero down. Four. 
Sling blade. I like a sling blade. It's a good move. Just got a really cool name. Uh, this is Hunter. The grotto stuff never really happened in my bed. Anyway, well, the basement head says, uh. Heroes landing. Once again. One, two, three. Hero Ramirez gets the win. Here is your winner, Hero Ramirez! And that's another jolly good episode of PBW vs. AVW in the books. I was able to get the number one contender stuff sorted, so I'll be able to sort out the next week's card a bit quicker. Because, like, this one was a rush job because I only put it together last night. But yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to breaking three, four, excuse me, next Friday. There's going to be some really, really good stuff. And, uh... Yeah, this was a good main event. This was a great card. The tag matches both banged. In fact, all three banged, if you include the women's one, which I do. That was a good match, too. So, yeah. Um, I'll see you all on Friday for a weekly gaming stream. And then the Tuesday after that for the Go Home Show for Break Even 4. And as always, thank you all for watching. You're incredible. Have a lovely night.